tell us something about why you chose to go with people and places. Cool. So you asked me why I chose to go with people and places. Basically, I started, once I realised I wanted to volunteer, um, researching on the internet different organisations to volunteer with. And I felt like a theme that I found with a lot of organisations was they were emphasising the social aspect of the volunteer experience and it was about going with an, a group of young people. And I felt like, for me, I wanted more of an independent experience and more of an authentic experience where I felt like I was really working with the community and working in the community. Um, and so that's why the organisation stood out for me straight away, ab over and above those other types of volunteer experiences. What did you want to get out of volunteering? Um, so in terms of what I wanted to get out of volunteering, I feel like, for me, I'd got to a point... Um, in my life at 22 and I found myself with some time this summer, some free time and I was trying to think of the most uh, worthwhile way to, to spend that time really and I feel like I, I am still very naive, there is still a lot I've got left to learn about the world um, but equally I was hoping that some of my energy and enthusiasm I could put to good use um, more productively on a project and so that's why I felt like I wanted to volunteer, I want to broaden my horizons and be more aware of things that are going on in the world um, while at the same time trying to match my skills and anything I can bring um, closely to a, an already established project. What made you choose South Africa? Well it was kind of a collaborative thing with Kate and I when I first emailed her and she asked for a lot of detailed information about my skills, my background, what I was hoping, why I was volunteering, what I was hoping to get out of it and I was quite open-minded about where I was going to go. Um, I did I, I did want to go to Africa um, in particular, but um, and the Emmanuel project did stand out for me when I first was researching people and places, and then luckily Kate also was thinking along similar lines um, because there was scope in this project to work with young people in particular, which was something that I was quite keen to do. So South Africa kind of just fell into place from there. How did that dialogue with Kate go? Did it feel intrusive or supportive? So you're asking about the dialogue I had with Kate. I think, yeah, it was quite important to me actually because I think the more information that you give, even though at first it feels like she was asking me a lot of questions and she was aware of that, um, obviously the more rounded idea of myself I could give to her, then the better probably my volunteer experience would be and I appreciated that because then she could match me much more specifically with a project that fitted with what I could bring and also what I was hoping to get out of it. So it wasn't an intrusive process and I was actually very reassured by how Thara Kate has been with all of the um, questions that she's asked me and you know we've had she, she responds very quickly to any questions or concerns that I have and also everything seems to be covered in terms of my safety and in terms of um, you know, culture, what the culture is like so I have a bit of an idea of when I go you know, um, not to do anything that might offend anybody um, things like that basically so yeah the dialogue um, has actually been very reassuring even though it's been very thorough and it's taken quite a long time the whole process I actually think that's how it should be because it's not something that just happens overnight if you really want to have a proper match.